Hi guys, Kelvin here. So today we'll be taking a look at this, the IKBC's affordable full-size mechanical gaming keyboard featuring 108 keys. The reason why it has additional 4 keys over a 104 keyboard is basically the 3 keys right here for your volume and a shortcut for calculator. I'm guessing they're aiming towards accountants and auditor like I was formerly. Now the keyboard right here uses Cherry MX switches with a variety of blue, brown and red. The typing sound experience will be at the end of this review video, so stay tuned for that. We have the Cherry MX Browns for testing today. The keycaps right here are Single Shot PBT, Laser Edge and Ink Legend. So I wish it was Double Shot PBT, that will be amazing. Aside from that, the package comes included with the wireframe based keycap mover, as well as some colored PBT keycaps to accessorize your life to go a little bit more stylized like how I set up right here. Now there won't be any bottoming out issues on the longer keys, especially if you press on the very edge of the longer keys itself. Everything is actuated fully, not to worry. Aside from that, the long keys are stabilized by switch-based stabilizers with internal frame. But I noticed the internal frame is a little bit on the thinner side, so it does rattle a little bit when you shake sideways. But if you are doing downward and upward firing, you don't hear that springy bouncing effect so okay with me. Looking at the overall keyboard right here, it's a flush style keyboard with the keycaps slightly above the top frame. So you can pop off all the keycaps and do maintenance on it but it requires a little bit more effort compared to floating style keyboard. Now looking at the bottom of the keyboard right here, here we can see a total of 6 rubber feet including 4 on the double stage stand. The double stage stand increased the height of the keyboard by 0.5cm as well as 1.4cm. Here on the bottom, we can see the three-way cable management route. Sadly, the cable right here is not detachable. I wish it was detachable even at this price point. The cable is 1.8 meters long, silicon type. So it's still raining, I'm going to continue my review. Now, typing experience on an IKBC keyboard, especially the CD108, it's just amazing. I'm very familiar with the layout right here, but before I explain about that, let me explain in greater detail by just looking at the side view right here. So on the shortest end is 1.6 cm tall and its tallest end right here is 2.8 cm tall. So the angle of attack for your wrist right here is rather flat. So you can actually go long durations of typing. Now even if you put a wrist pad which is optional, you can make it full 180 degrees. So you can, it's a typing keyboard I can say, you can type for a long duration. And I'm very familiar with IKBC keyboards because number one, I own an IKBC keyboard. I have this keyboard right here for um, a good two years if, if I'm not mistaken. This is the F104 version right here. I also have an F108 version. Now the F version is actually obsolete. The current version is called CD. So I even have one IKBC keyboard. Both of them I bought it two years ago. This is still sealed in the box right here which is the white color. This is the F108. So it has the extra keys like this baby right here. So the core differences between an old IKBC keyboard and a new IKBC keyboard is number one, the top frame right here is different. So on the newer version right here, it has a matte, rougher texture surface for, I'm not sure maybe for grip. Whereas on the older version right here, it's more on a glossy matte finish right here. The keycaps are same. PBT, just that the legends on the newer one is much more bold or thicker. Aside from that, the spring action is, it feels the same. It's just that because this is a new keyboard on the new, this review right here, it feels a little bit more tight. But, but when once you age it, it actually feels good typing it so you can type very, very fast. So, the design is the same, just a little bit tweaking right here. Would I st still recommend an IKBC keyboard, the CD108 right here, hell yeah. If you're a college student looking for so much more affordable keyboard for typing your notes up to your college life, to your working life, and now my YouTube life, you can give this a shot. It's really price affordably in Malaysia itself. So if you're interested in these keyboards right here, links in video description where you can purchase them, including the updated pricing. Remember to like and uh, subscribe. Comment below what are the keyboards we should review next. I plan to make a Patreon page soon for just keyboard related stuff. Just give me your opinion if I, you think it's a good idea. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next keyboard review.